full here, of course. Frankie's standing by as well. We're going to get into this conversation because it's what everybody's been talking about yeah. in this city over the weekend. Uh, let's just break it down and kind of get you up to uh, up to pace on what's happened in case you shut down for the weekend. Mm. So Mayor John Tory stepping down after admitting a, a relationship with a former office member's 31 years of age. He said he had an affair with the woman during the course of the pandemic. They mutually ended it this year. We are in mid-February, by the way. Uh, he said he must commit himself to the work required to repair his personal relationships. Uh, right now, Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey will take over as there will be a by-election that needs to take place within 60 days of the mayor's office officially becoming coming vacant to name a permanent replacement. However, he's not filed the paperwork as of yet for that resignation, but he did announce that he will be stepping down on Friday nights. That kind of gives you uh, kind of uh, a bit of an overview of what is happening. Frankie, we've been getting reaction from everybody across the city uh, this morning. What is your reaction to this? So, um, Tammy and myself, just uh, it was maybe just a month ago that we did an event with John Tory and with his son as well. Uh, I've known John for almost 20 years. Um, my reaction to it is uh, really, I'm, I'm sad. I, I'm sad for his family. I'm sad for the city. I'm sad for John himself. Uh, nobody wins in a situation like this. And um, it's a decision that probably. Um, that he probably regrets. We know that he regrets this time. And uh, really, my, the word I have is sad. I'm just mm -hmm. really sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the sentiment from a lot of people. Eva, what are your thoughts on it? Sorry, we should say Frankie's yeah. live uh, at a hotel and he's going to be at one kitchen at one hotel. So we're going to check in in a little bit, Frankie. I'm not sure if, if you're uh, able yeah, to stay okay. with us, but thank you. And welcome back from San Diego. Good to see you back. Thank you. Eva, what is your take I on all this? The city is upside down. I right feel now. the same way that Frankie does, right? Like, it's just when I first heard about it, I'm sure we all the same thing. Text messages coming mm -hmm. in from everywhere, different reporters who used to maybe work on the beat. And you're just sad because it's uh, his entire family involved. We know he's been married for 40 plus, 40 plus years, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's sad for him, for his family involved. The city of Toronto, I feel like they feel a little bit let down by him. You know, maybe they had him on a certain pedestal. They mm -hmm. thought of him in a different light. Um, and I also, I'm a little bit on, I don't like to see that people are trying to drag the staffer really into the limelight and trying to point out who she is. I don't think it matters. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to mm -hmm. know. And I don't want to, I don't want to see it. Like, it's not about her right now. It's a very so, American thing to want to do that yeah, sort of thing. You know what I mean? I thought we were above that. American British, kind of that tabloid yes, aspect of things. Yes, but yeah. it's crazy how things seem to be turning in that sense, too. Yeah. What say you, Tam? Uh, just shock. Like, I'm still trying to process it all. I know that Friday night, I was, um, I was just about to put my daughter to bed. I'm braiding her hair. I braid one side, and then I put on the TV. And I knew that there was this article that was out in the Toronto Star at the time um, about this staffer, and I knew that there was going to be a statement that was going to be made by Tory. No clue that he was going to resign. And you can see I'm braiding hair, and then you can see where I can show you now mm -hmm. on her head where I turned on the TV and saw it because the braid just goes like all over the place. Like I'm just <laughs> distracted, I am yeah. stunned, yes. like just absolutely yeah. stunned by the news when it, it, it came up. And uh, you know, hearing a lot of people saying that they are definitely <coughs> disappointed. Disappointed is the word that keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. This is the theme because Eva, as you mentioned, I think a lot of people, obviously, as the mayor of Toronto, you do put the mayor up uh, on a certain level, and then you you hear that, you know that you know he is no different than anybody else in this city. It's just that at this yeah. point he holds that role and uh, he's decided that it's best that he just step down immediately and 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 call it a day. I think the, the stepping down right away was the shock. That's what shocked me. Mm -hmm. right. Typically you see politicians will, um, you know, maybe admit to wrongdoing or not admit to it, but if they do, they kind of take the temperature of the room at, at a, you know, at a certain point and then see whether or not resignation is something that happens down the line. I think um, resigning right away was the shock. And for me, it was the opposite. I said he's going to resign. Oh, really? Because I know what his, he said in terms of his beliefs, his mm -hmm. morals, um, and I knew that he wants City Hall to run and hum. And this would be a massive distraction. You just said it. You're braiding Isla's hair and... Uh, yeah. And that would be City Hall pretty much, right? Where this is all the attention. It becomes a circus. It's all a distraction for weeks and weeks and weeks. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go away. It would only get worse and worse and worse. And then there's a lot of problems here in the city right now, and they would not be addressed because people would be fixated on this scandal. 
So at the end of the day, Frankie, I'm with you too. Like it shows he's human, he's flawed, and he do, he did the right things. And he would expect other people to do the same yeah. in that position. You know, you're going to be a distraction. You know, this is all anyone's talking about. He said, "I'm sorry." He has deep shame, and he's stepping away. Right? That's mm -hmm. that, what else? He's being accountable in that sense. And as for all the other stuff, let's hope people have some class and focus on the big problem right now, which is the budget, what's going to happen on Tuesday. You'll keep us posted. And this by-election, like he was only four months in to his third term. He was about mm -hmm. to become the longest serving mayor of this city if he had completed in 2026. Yeah. So this is a horrible way he was building a legacy and now it's tarnished. I, I, I think people might focus on this as opposed to any of the work that he did over the last few years, right? Look, if he if he doesn't step down, because the paperwork's not in, right? So he puts his re resignation in. He loved the city. Loved the loves city. Loves his job. Works Whether you so agree hard. with his policies or not, you know that he wanted Toronto to be great over the years. Yes. And if he stays on, every decision he makes will be questioned. Yes. And it'll be brought back to, well, how can I trust you? Because... Mm -hmm. And so that's where mm -hmm. this lies in that sense, right? Um, but there are a lot of people out there saying personal life is separate than politics. And there's a lot of politicians that have done a lot worse, not excusing what he did in any way. And this is, again, this is the, the feel, and we're hearing that on the street when Fize is out there talking to people as well, saying maybe he doesn't need to resign. Right. Because that's his personal life. If he can get that and his wife forgives him, we saw that in one of the comments as well, and then Toronto might be able to do that. But I just don't know if people can separate it. Mm -hmm. This day and age, it doesn't seem like it can be, so. Sending uh, love to his family. His wife, his mom, his kids, his grandkids. Thing, oh my gosh, they yeah. have to go to work today. They have mm -hmm. to go to school today. My heart breaks for them because it is such a public facing job yeah. and they have to deal with all of this for the next few days too. It's yeah. just, it's so hard and rocks the family to the core as it is, let alone an entire city mm -hmm. and on it goes. So let's just keep that in mind.